Hello YouTube, Bad Bunk Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch iPod Touch 2G um, on three on 4.1 software. So yeah, um, this works for the MB and MC model, and also the iPhone 3GS on 4.1 firmware. Um, if you're on the MB model, this is not a tailbreak jailbreak on the Apple Touch, but um, if you're on the MC model, I'm afraid it's going to be tethered. So yeah, let's get right into this. Um, first of all, download um, Red Snow. The link will be in the description. All links will be in the description, and then you have to download this um, custom firmware. I'm on an iPod, but if you're on iPhone, you download the iPhone one in the description. And once you've done all that, just um, open up the Red Snow you you um, downloaded. So yeah, um, make sure you know where you downloaded your firmware to your custom iPod or iPhone firmware you just downloaded. I know mine, mine's just right here, I'm just going to click open. Right, now it's just going to process the firmware just to make sure it's the right um, firmware. Let's wait for it. Right, um, for the MC model, you're going to click yes. This is for iPod. Um, if you're MC, you want to click yes, but if you're not, click uh, no. So I'm not, um, and then you're just going to click next. It's just going to connect to the server. <sighs> just going to wait for this. Right, now what you want to do is just um, click all your stuff that you want to do. I want the um, battery percentage. Um, you want to keep um, install Sidious um, check because that's basically jailbreak. Um, I'm going to do a, um, I'm not going to do verse boot, verse boot is basically all the text when it's booting up, it's going to show what, what it's booting up and stuff like that, but I don't want that. But I'm going to put a custom boot logo, you can just go on YouTube, and just, no not YouTube, Google Images and just search custom iPod boot logos, I think. Mine's just on the desktop, there it is, boot. Oh. Oh, so clearly not. Um, one sec, I'm just going to pause it while I go and get a, another image. Okay, now I've got uh, another logo. Um, custom boot logo. Boot. Right, so that's on. Um, I don't want. Um, I don't want to enable multitasking because I find that it um it like it takes up a lot of battery on the iPod. But um, yeah, I'm going to enable home screen wallpaper though because that's really useful. Right now, I'm just going to get the next. Okay, now this is where um. This is where I'm gonna just go to my camera now, cause um, this uh, you need to see the Apple Touch. This, so yep, see you at the. Hi guys, I'm I'm at the um, Apple Touch now. It's the sound quality's gonna get a bit bad, cause my camera isn't very good. But right now, what you wanna do is just make sure it's fully turned off. Turn off. So yeah, just make sure that's off. Right now, that's fully off. Make sure it's off. Make sure it's plugged into the computer as well. And um, now I'm just going to click next. Right, now we're going to go back a second. Right, you've got to get ready to put it in DFU mode. So I'm going to teach you how to do that now. Um, you need to hold your um, you need to hold your power button for three seconds, and then without taking your finger off the power button, hold down the home button for put both of them for about 10 seconds and then take off the power button, keep holding the home button and um, some stuff will happen, so yeah. Alright, get ready to do that now. I'm, it's, you're not going to be able to see it that very well because let me try moving the light here. Right. Uh, let's do both at the same time. Right. Once you click next, straight away, you need to just do it. Put it in D if you mode. 3, 2, 1. Yep. Yeah. 1, 2, 3. Hold them both now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Now take your finger off the um, power button. Keep holding down the home button. And um, keep on the home button. Do not let go. Right. And now we've got a white screen. Just whatever you just don't let go. Just wait. Some stuff will be happening on the computer. Just ignore that. Just rebooting. Um, right, there we go. 
and you once it's doing this you can once it says downloading jailbreak data you can take your finger off and right there it's down in the jailbreak now so um, what I'm going to do now is put this up here uh, I'll just wait for this now and now on the computer you are now done really on the computer so you're just going to click um, um, finish right now this um, the um, iPod should just go in the jailbreak right well, I'm going to pause it now and when it's done I'll just play again hey guys now that's um, it's just finished doing that and this is my custom boot logo it's just loading up now it's a pineapple I don't know why but yeah just waiting for it to boot up I just the computer just noticed it's on. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause it again. Oh no, don't need to. Right, it's just gonna I'll just type a password. Right, there we go, it's just um booted up now and just to prove it's jailbroken, I'm just gonna scroll up to Cydia. Um Cydia. search it in here. See the, uh, it's going to have a white icon the first time but um, once you have booted it up once it will recognize it all and it will put it back into the room. So yeah that was my video on how to jailbreak the iPod Touch um, on 1.4 and the iPhone 3GS. Please comment and subscribe and if you have any problems just post a comment down below. Yeah thanks.